Hello everybody, Assassinator back with another Halo Infinite weekly update video for week number 152. So it's been a total of, I want to say about four weeks since I put out one of these videos. There just hasn't been very much of, I guess, changes with Halo Infinite for me to go ahead and report on them. But something new did happen this week. We did get the Operation Haloween. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. So I'm already at tier four and that's after three matches. So I use one double XP there. But it looks like if you pay the 500 credits, you'll get the stank, um, underarm, uh, what is that, armor effect? At level one, you'll get the nameplate emblem bundle set. Level five, the knee pads for the Mark Seven. Uh, number 10, you'll get the, the chest attachment. 15, you'll get the cross core coating right here. It's gonna help your character look like that Frankenstein, kind of like I used in the thumbnail. Uh, number 18, you'll get the left and right shoulder pad. Then number 20, you'll get the Frankenstein helmet, which is the Spartan Stein. I'm going to probably have to uh, earn it and then mess around with it to try to find a coating where it makes it pop a little bit more because uh, this blue just doesn't do it justice. But that's basically everything you get in this free 20 tiers. You have a total of 28 days to do it, so four weeks from October 8th through November 5th. So plenty of time because I'll probably complete it uh, probably this week. I almost guarantee I'll complete it this week just by doing the, the daily. The daily you get 500 plus what you actually earn in the, what is it called? Uh, while you're actually playing the matches. So 500 after doing two matches. So moving on from there, let's go ahead and go over to multiplayer. So on multiplayer, we got Survive the Undead. It has returned. It was in here before. Well, now it's back. And I believe it's kind of like a 2.0. I think it was Forge Falcons. They went back and they tinkered with it a little bit more. Um, they added in, one of the biggest things that I saw is they added markers for the vending machines to help you identify what they are. So it helped me a lot. I only played one match of it, but I think I enjoyed that match uh, much more than I had the previous time that I had come around. So if you haven't played it in a while, maybe check it out. Maybe they've tinkered uh, a few other things or tinkered with a few other things, and you might actually find out that you enjoy it more if you weren't really digging it the first time around. And if you did like it, then most likely it's only gotten better from there. Now let's see, the other change will be, if we go down, rank tactical, rotated in, well ranked uh, sniper has been rotated out so I know that's a bummer for a lot of people I know they love it whenever the ranked sniper comes in but it looks like this time we got ranked tactical then the only other change is that one shot slayer the game mode has been added into the quick uh, the quick play game playlist so if you want to play it that's where you're gonna be playing it at all right moving on from there because we got quite a bit to talk about is going to be the shop so obviously here's the big baller bundle right here 2200 credits along with all of the pieces you could buy individually and of course I have to get a text right as soon as I'm actually recording you know that's the way it always works but moving on from there so after that bundle there'll actually be another bundle right here 10 pieces in this bundle so let's start with this one so obviously you get the helmet along with the helmet attachment you get the left and right shoulder pad which has that uh what is it? I don't know how to really describe, but basically whatever uh, visor you have, it messes with the color or changes to that color on your uh, shoulder pad. Same with the chest attachment. It does the same exact thing. So that one's for the Camara. Then you've got the utility pack for the Camara. The wrist attachment for the Camara. Uh, cross core coating for every single one of your armor cores. A weapon model for your sidekick, which makes it look like a, a little gun, a little uh, Nintendo zapper. Uh, what, what was that? A cricket from uh, Men in Black. There you go. If you want the cricket from Men in Black, here it is. Looks kind of tiny. All right. And then you get the weapon coating, cross core weapon coating for every single one of your uh, weapon models. Now from there, we're gonna go ahead and uh, check out what the big baller pack actually gets you. So you get the helmet, along with the helmet attachment, which gives it that skull look. Which like I said, it doesn't really uh, contrast good enough here, but with that white coating, it looks a lot better. We have the wrist attachment. 
We have the gloves, the knee pads, the left and right shoulder pad, the rib cage um, chest attachment with the reaper hook right there, the utility, the coating for every single one of your uh, weapon models, a spanker model, and an armor coating for every one of your armor cores. Which doesn't look too bad, but it makes uh, that skull, if you, you try to set yourself up with all those uh, things from this kit, it makes it look like a, a skeleton. Pretty cool looking. So there you go. You can see that picture right there. That's what it makes your character look like. Overall, I like it a lot. But I'm just not spending uh, any more money. I only have $14.50 left of credits. And I do not plan to spend those on anything until it's something I'm really going to actually use. Just because uh, I know that the next Halo is coming right around the corner. And I don't know if they're actually going to move over these items that you purchase here. But uh, I'll go ahead and show you the other side. So as you see, there's a lot of uh, just repeats here. Obviously, Halo uh, World Championship 2023 bundle, 2022 bundle, and the 2024 bundle. I want to say these go away in a few weeks. So if you want them, make sure you purchase them while you can. And then obviously, the transgressor from uh, last Halloween time is back. And you got these uh, items right here. Now with that said, let's move over to the exchange. So the exchange only has three brand new items. So it's going to be this heat stress at, uh, what is it, 30,000 Spartan points. Looks pretty cool. It looks like a, um, I don't know, more brownish, goldish version of a the Molten, the Magma one. I think that's all they did was they just changed that color a little bit. But that's uh, 30,000 Spartan points. And then I think for 1,000 Spartan points a piece, you get a nameplate emblem bundle set. So yes, it'll be this uh, nameplate emblem and this one. So it looks like neon. Neon's what they're going for right there. So all in all, I'll buy these two just because I buy them and they're all pretty cheap. And I think by the end of this uh, first operation, if I want, I can probably purchase this. So I'm not sure if I want to go for this or do I want to go for this. I'm not really seeing myself using either of them, but you know, I collect them, so therefore I probably will end up getting this Ghost of Reach just to have it, just in case I ever want to use it. I think that would be a, probably a better choice right there over the, the coating that I'll never use either. All right, let's talk about now the future of Halo Infinite. So it was mentioned that we will be getting a new operation after this Halloween. So that's kind of good. It will be releasing in November. So November 5th, when this one ends, the next one should be starting. So that's basically going to be the start of what I consider Season 9. Basically, every three operations is a new season in my book. And it's a good confirmation because there were a lot of people speculating that we weren't even going to get a Season 8. But it looks like uh, 343, or sort of 343, I'll explain that a little bit uh in a little while but basically they are going to keep on going with these operations probably to the end of halo when they end up releasing another one they might even go a couple more in after releasing the next halo because obviously not everyone jumps ship to the new one or not everyone will actually enjoy the new one but we are getting that season nine and then i'm expecting after that even a season 10. now on top of that what else we're going to be getting in the future we're going to be getting some third person shooter game modes those are in the works those are going to be coming but the first one will be a third person King of the Hill game mode. It's anticipated to release during the next operation. So that'd be a season 9.1, which would be November 5th. I'm assuming it'll probably be the featured mode right there. You'll be able to play uh, in third person. So let me know what you actually think about playing in third person. It's going to be different. I am going to check it out. Maybe I might enjoy it a lot more. But I feel that this is kind of the studio uh, branching out, checking out other modes that might bring people in to kind of hear what they have to say about it, to see if it's something that they want to bring into the very next Halo game or Halo games. So make sure to uh, voice your opinion on those things in a constructive way, obviously. Don't just say you don't like it. Why don't you like it? What needs to be tuned? Those different types of things, the studio might be listening and they might be able to tweak it to more of your liking, especially if the masses are saying the same exact thing. So with that, I also wanted to mention that HCS World Championship 2024 took place over the last weekend. It included brand new Twitch Drop items, 
like usual, so I hope all of you who wanted them got them. I noticed that I missed out on the Cool Craig and the, I can't remember the, the name, the the Vanished AI character, but the, what was it, the Weapon Charm. I missed out on those. I didn't know that it was on a different channel. I thought I was done with it, so I just moved on after, uh, I think it was day two. I came uh, back day three towards the end just to see what was going on there. Just to see the um, Space Station Gaming versus Optic Gaming, and again... Optic Gaming, they couldn't close it out. Space Station Gaming took the, the win, they took the trophy, they took that championship. So congratulations to them, they worked really hard for it, they were getting a lot of wins during the season, but this season, year three, um, HCS 2024 is done, it's over. But we did get some good news, which is year four of HCS will be returning in 2025. Now, it's not going to be until, I want to say it started in like March of 2024, so therefore it'll probably be about March 2025, so we have quite a few months, that big gap, where we're not really going to get any brand new Twitch drop items. So I want to make sure to point that out, I know a lot of people are subscribed just to know about those Twitch drop items, but if you're not looking for some repeats, then most likely you're not going to like any of the videos that I put out as far as Twitch drops go because it's just going to be a lot of repeats. Every once in a while, we get a brand new one in there, but for the most part, don't count on anything brand new for the next four or five months. Now on to other Halo announcements. Now, during the HCS event, we got an update from 343 Studios. Now, I'll leave a link to the full video in the description of this video as well as playing a bit of it. Obviously, no voice there, so if you want to check it out, make sure you click that link, but the video's name was called A New Dawn. Now in the video they talked about starting the next chapter of Halo, so they are making the following changes. First off, the rebranding from 343 Studios to Halo Studios. Now I believe they are trying to distance themselves from the tainted name of 343 Studios, just because we all know how Infinite launched wasn't the best, even though it's a great game, it's the best Halo game in my opinion, it still did not launch the best, it was bare bones. And so they're trying to get away from that because, you know, a lot of people feel that uh, 4, 5, and now Infinite have not been the best. So they want to change it up right there. They're under new management, which was one of the biggest things that affected Infinite in launching the way that it did. So therefore, them uh, being under new management, they're going to change the name. They're basically going to do things a bit different. They even say that in that uh, video. So check it out for that. Uh, the next big thing that they talked about was that they're working on multiple games. So, don't know if it's two games, don't know if it's three games, don't know if it's even more than that. But they're working on multiple games in the Halo universe, and they're all going to be made with UE5. So, Unreal Engine 5, which is a engine, a video game development engine, that a lot of studios use. Even a lot that are underneath uh, Microsoft and Xbox use that, uh, that engine. So, that's going to make it where they're able to focus on creating the game and not put out a lot of resources on trying to be a tech company or an engine developer at the same exact time, which was a second reason why I feel that Halo Infinite launched in the condition that it did. Now, what I feel that they're currently working on, and again, this is just my feeling, no insiders or anything like that, is Halo Combat Evolved Remastered. Because of that art style that they showed off in the video, I feel that that's probably the first game that they're going to start with, and they're going to release it in November 2026, alongside the next Xbox, which I believe will be the Xbox's 25th anniversary, along with Halo's 25th anniversary. Now, an insider did say that they were working on a remaster of uh, Combat Evolved, so I'm kind of going with that, but at the same exact time, you have to kind of think, that maybe that insider actually saw what they are working on, which I believe is called something like Foundry Tech Demo. And so it could have just been that the whole time, and they automatically thought because of the armor that they were using and everything else, that whole environment and look, that it was a remaster. So maybe it is, maybe it's not. But I'm going to go with, right now, it is a remaster. It kind of, everything seems like it, it lines up. Obviously the graphics, even on the Anniversary Edition, uh, they're not up to the quality of nowadays and it's kind of like a reintroduction to a lot of people because yes I played part one but there are a lot of people who don't want to go back and play an older game that looks like that especially uh, the younger generation but so that's game number one the second game in my opinion is a standalone multiplayer game that is also releasing in 2026 and it will include that BR that battle royale uh, type game mode that I think it was Certain Infinity we're working on. I think they probably brought that over to the next one. And that's what they're actually doing. So they're going to have those as two kind of separate things right there. 
kind of like they did with Infinite, how the multiplayer is separate than the campaign, but at the same time, they're kind of linked. I think they're they're trying to build something like that, and they're just going to keep on building upon that, kind of like, and hopefully like, Fortnite does. How they just keep on building on top of what they have. They add more in there, and it's an ever-evolving world. I believe that's what they wanted to do with Infinite, but obviously we know we didn't get that. And then the third game would be Halo 7. I think it will go in full development after Halo C Remastered is released. Right now, they probably just have a small team kind of putting the, the foundation together. But again, that's just what I feel it is. It doesn't mean any of that's accurate. But let me know what you think it is and what you hope it is. Let me know in the comments below. Now seeing this video, it really does have me hyped for the future of Halo. I know that uh, we haven't got to see anything from Halo Studios or anything really great launching in great condition from 343 Studios. So it's kind of one of those where a lot of people are on the fence, but you know what? I'm gonna keep my hype up there, think positive, and hopefully that next Halo game is actually a great one upon launch. Now either way, Hearing that 343 slash Halo Studios, whatever you want to call it, is working on multiple games is a good sign that Xbox still believes Halo is important, which is great for all of us Xbox players. But hopefully you found this video informative. I know it was a bit longer, but I wanted to make sure I covered all the Halo news, just not Halo Infinite. I try now to branch out. I mean, got to get prepared for the next Halo. It's got to be covering all that news. But if you want any more content like this, make sure you keep it locked to this channel. But that's going to be it for this video. And until next time, Assassinator out.